Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy for the Hip Kit Club, and I'm excited to do another layout with the awesome August kit. So I'm just taking this photograph from our wedding. It's my husband, my dad, my best friend from high school, my brother, his girlfriend, and his best friend growing up. And um, mounting it on some of that pseudo calico paper that I love. I'm trying to use it sparingly. And then I have cut a frame sort of from the gold star vellum and the rest of the inside piece I used to make um, like page corners and you'll see that in a second. So I'm just putting it onto this piece of like it's like a gradient yellow to kind of white and then onto some of that pebbles wood grain paper which I really really like. So that's kind of the basis of the layout and then this is one of the branding strips from one of the Chamel papers and I thought it was really cute and it's I cut it to where you can see the amaze but I end up covering that up so I'm thinking about adding this other little tab from the 6x6, which is not in the kit, but I used part of that piece of paper last week, and I had it just laying around. So I've already gone through and kind of picked some of the embellishments that I thought I might use. Of course, I'm not going to use all these. There's a ton there. But I just kind of went through and, um, you know, just selected a, about half of them probably. <laughs> and this will evolve over the course of the next few minutes of how I end up finally putting these together but I wanted to add some more of the yellow down at the bottom so I've got that little tag and then the little thing that says captured and the little thing underneath it says sold and so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this captured down and then I end up using a staple I think well I end up cutting off part of it because it's a little bit too long and it makes like a weird angle so that's one thing like when you do embellishment clusters to kind of I guess, well at least I pay attention to, is that sometimes if you do, if one piece is a little bit too big or too short, they don't line up right and it creates these like little weird negative spaces and I just think it um, doesn't look quite finished when it's when it does that. So I'm going to just go ahead and staple this to this, um, like the big center part of pattern paper that I have going on here because I just really couldn't think of a better way to glue it down because there's like a few layers underneath there. So I'm going to take this this is one of the four by six cards. You'll get, some of you may have this one, some of you may not. There's a variety in each kit. And I'm going to cut some little, I love tabs on layouts. I just, it's the, I love office supplies geek in me <laughs> that loves these little tabs. So I've just kind of cut the paper to, to where I can cut a tab out that has that pink. So I want some of that pink up in the upper left hand corner because it's just at the bottom right now. And then, as you can see, I cut the center piece of that vellum. You can't see this one too well because it's off screen, but you'll see in a second. I cut these, like, star vellum photo corners, and then I cut little bitty pieces of the black and white paper to put in the center. So all four corners are the same. They're not the same size. I just rough cut them. They're not identical by any means, but I try to get them as close as possible. So right now, I put the vellum or the vellum down with just regular adhesive and you can see through it because it's kind of blue tinted so I'm just peeling that up and um putting just using a mini glue dot I think is what I'm doing oh and then and then where I peeled it up it was sticking up so I got some vellum adhesive and put that underneath so I'm just going to add this little tab that I've cut or punched and I noticed that my uh, like photo map part is a little bit crooked, so I will fix that. This is a little sticker from the Chamel sticker sheet that you get that has like words on one side and an alphabet on the other side. And I'm just using some mini glue, glue dots to um, secure this down to the pa um, pad of paper underneath it. And now I'm just going to look for a couple of more embellishments. And I decided that I like that kind of pink circle look because there's one down at the bottom. So I put one in the upper left hand corner to kind of match. And then I decided the sides of this are a little bit too plain. So I'm going to cut some of the embellishments in half and kind of layer them to give just a little more color. And just a little bit more layering to this. This is kind of how I like to layer. I pick the main elements like the big pieces and then I just go in and <clears throat> kind of just layer 
how it feels right. And here I try to be all, you know, proper and line it up. And then I just go, no, it needs to be higher. So sometimes it's just better to go with what your visual eye tells you rather than, you know, making sure everything's straight and all that. So I wanted some of this pink and there wasn't a paper in the kit that was that color pink. So I cut one of the, um, four or three by four cards that were from one of the, the Chamel cut apart paper. Um, and I'm being careful here again, not to create those weird little negative spaces that I was talking about. So I was going to add that yellow, but then that didn't work. It didn't look right. So I just ended up putting this little yellow circle on the upper left hand corner and it has a C on it, which doesn't, that's my maiden name started with a C last name started with a C, but I decided to just cover it up with a, um, little enamel dot. And then looking back on, it, I should have left it because it was like, you know, that was my maiden name. With, start with a C. Anyways, I'm going to use these little photo corners from this Chamel um, chipboard sheet that we got also. I'm just using two of them. They're so awesome. They're white with like a gold sparkle on or splatter. They're so cool. So I'm thinking about the title and how I want to do this. And, and I have, we had gotten this, wait, let me, I'm ahead of myself. Because I can't see what's coming up next. This new iMovie drives me crazy. I like the old one where you could like see what was coming next. So that when you're talking in a voiceover, um, you could anticipate what was coming. And this one doesn't do that. So I don't know. If you know how to do that, let me know. So I thought I was just going to call this shots. And then I was like, no. <laughs> so I thought I was going to call it shots on the top when the side didn't work. And I was like, no. And then I thought maybe I'll call it shots on the bottom. And no, that didn't work because they're all doing tequila shots. Um, this was after we, we, after the ceremony. So now I'm straightening up that picture because it finally, I finally noticed, I think. Um, then I'm thinking about maybe outlining these for like journaling lines. And then I'm like, wait, but then that bubble is going to be in the way and I won't be able to write on it. Then I think about putting this ampersand on there, but then I couldn't really think of like how I wanted to do it. Like I couldn't do it with mist because everything was already glued down and, I thought maybe I was going to trace it. So I went ahead and wrote, wrote family out in this little, um, I love this alphabet. It's the Studio Calico. They're like vellum. Um, we got them in a kit before and they're so awesome. I'm actually using the ones from my older kit, but I run out of letters because I've used them so much. So I have to break into the new one. So I'm still thinking I'm going to use that like family and shots captured as the title, but then I decide no. So I, find this um, wood veneer ampersand that's in the Maggie Holmes, ephem not Maggie Holmes, Crate Paper Notes and Things Ephemera set. And so I decided to use that. So I'm going to call it Family, Friends, Fun, and Tequila. I'm going to take that shots off of there. So I'm just um, using all of these little yellow. And I love the kind of tone on tone. I think it looks awesome. And I think I'm going to actually like turn the camera off for a second and come back and I'll have all of the, because I had to move the title. Yeah, I had to move the title up a little bit. And so I'm going to take that wood veneer ampersand and I'm going to take the pigment, white pigment, pigment ink that, ink that came in the stamp kit and I'm going to put that aside to dry because you, that stuff takes a long time to dry and you want to make sure that's good and dry before you, um, you know start playing with it. So now I'm just kind of cleaning, tidying up a little bit because there's stuff everywhere. And I decided the background needs a little bit of something. So I'm going to mix, first I use this acrylic, golden acrylic paint, and it's the bone black color, I think. And I also use that gouache, which is like a mix of acrylic and watercolor paint. And what I noticed is when I added water to the acrylic paint, it got a little gray, like a little flat. It didn't really hold like a true black color and I want it to be like super black. But when I did it with the gouache paint, it stayed like super pigmented and black and it was awesome. So that's what I ended up using and I used a couple of different brushes. It was really hard to, I was afraid if I kept adding water that it was going to become gray and it didn't. And I wish I would have just gone for it and added a bunch of water because it would have made the splatters a lot easier, but I didn't. So now I've gone away and had dinner, I believe, and come back and everything is dry. So I'm going to put, finally put, adhere this down and I'm going to adhere my little ampersand down and I'm using 
some Ranger um, multi matte medium. I finally got some. I was like the last person to to have that, and I use sequins so much you'd think I'd have some. Um, I'm going to add a few little enamel dots and that is going to finish up the layout for this week. So I hope you have enjoyed the process and I hope you're enjoying your August kits. And if you don't get the hip kit, then you should definitely subscribe. Next month is going to be great too. And you can use the code crafting Kate to get a free pattern paper add-on. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.